Nicole here, and this week on the Fab Five is back to school. So anything that has to do with school or anything like that, and I'm sure most of you are already back in school, but for us, we're still in I'm sure for most of you, you're already back in school, but for us, it's our last week of summer, so that's why I decided to film my video in the outdoors to enjoy the last few days of summer before I have to go back to school. So I'm going to tell you Nicole's top 10 tips for, I guess, high school. So tip number one would be to always just stay on top of your schoolwork when it's like big projects don't wait till last minute because I know procrastinating whatever but if you get it done early I swear every your life is 20 times better like your life is 20 times better don't don't come huh um, tip number two would be don't stress over the little things don't stress over a little tiny piece of homework you know focus on studying for the big tests or stuff like that and make sure your teachers don't hate you. If your teachers hate you, there's gonna be a problem. There's a helicopter, and it is so loud. Fly your helicopter somewhere else. This is why I don't come outdoors. My neighbors probably think I'm psychotic too. Tip number three would be to not overload your classes. So don't take all APs. Like I mean, if, if that's what you're into, then go ahead. But I mean, don't stress yourself out. Be able to like whatever you, whatever classes you take make sure that you can do them and don't let other people you know say oh you're only in one honors god no take what you can do tip number four would be to surround yourself with people that are like you so make sure that your friends or your group of friends or whatever are like you and trust me the group of friends that you have in freshman year are definitely not going to be the group of friends that you have in junior or senior year. So don't stress if something happens. And basically all this is like don't stress. <laughs> um, tip number five, don't stay up till three in the morning watching Netflix. Try and go to bed at a normal time, I guess. This bugs on me. And I guess tip number six can be for freshmen. Don't act like you run the school because you don't. I mean, of course, you're going to go in there and you're going to be running through the hallways like, oh my god, I'm a freshie. No, just be chill about it. And if you're chill about it, I promise you, the seniors and the juniors and the sophomores will like you a lot more than if you are cr a crazy freshie. The sun is so bright right now. Jesus. Tip number seven would be to go to all your school's events, go to the football games, go to all that type of stuff because in the future when you want to look back you want to remember that you went to all of your school's events and especially the football games because in my opinion the football games are the most fun but also don't forget about baseball and soccer and support all of your school's events because they're fun if you go with your friends. Okay so my friend just sent me a bunch of little tips that I can tell you guys so here's tip number eight and that would be one if your backpack is larger than a small country should probably get that fixed get one binder and put different dividers in it so you can have one binder for all your classes so you don't look like a turtle don't be afraid of trying out different social groups there is no such thing as popular girls i promise you everyone's equal okay, tip number nine would be follow directions don't be that kid that gets sent to the office every other day and don't be that kid that the teacher has to call home but you might think you're the class clown or whatever, but you're actually just annoying. And now I think tip number 10 is the biggest thing that I can tell you guys. And that's when you go into high school, stay the same person that you were before high school. And stay the same person that you are when freshman year, senior year. It's just be you. And if other people, because I promise you other people are going to try and tell you how to act and tell you what to do and how to talk and how to walk and don't listen. You can walk and talk and act any way that you want. I promise you that the you that you are is the best you you can be and no one else can change that and no one else can be the best you, if that makes any sense. Just don't let people peer pressure you into what they think is right because they're not right. And people can tell you you're weird and that you do things funny and that you know your hair looks stupid 
but you own the way that your hair looks and you own the way that you know you do things and you tell them to I can't say what I would tell them but oh a leaf just fell from the sky that was God please stay where you are and don't change for anyone and that's really it okay so I guess that's it for this week's episode and I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's episode, which was the sauce challenge. Me and my friends had a blast making it. We actually made it and something just leaped out of the lake and it, it was possibly like an alligator or something. My backyard smelt disgusting for about five days. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I guess now would be a really good time to announce something very exciting. We're going to playlist, and now, of course, we're not going to playlist as, like, actual YouTubers. Hey, maybe we are. I don't know. But me and Christy are going to playlist. Uh, we're going to the Orlando playlist, and that's February 6th through 8th. There's something on my toe. So we're both absolutely ecstatic about it, and we can't wait, and we hope to see you guys there. So I guess that's it for this week, and I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Did you just see that? This leaf flew smacked me. Anyway, so I guess that's it for this week. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Bye. Drop it low and pick it up. Just like this.